Welcome to Bitbender Studio. So today we're going to be talking about how to time stretch that your samples. And by time stretching the samples, we're basically talking about how you can actually, you know, move the tempo of your sample to the tempo of your current sequence you're working on. Or if you want to reverse it, you already have your tempo set on your sequence. You want to transfer that tempo to the sample you just imported onto your project. Let's just see how that works. Three, four. Yeah, so I can expand it. There are two ways to do this. I'm going to take you through how best you can actually achieve it based on what you need. You know, uh, time stretching simply means you are trying to adjust the tempo of the sample you're bringing into your project to either fit into the BPM of your sequence, that is the tempo of your sequence, or you're trying to basically make your the tempo of your own um, sequence to fit with it, the sample you just imported into your project. So whichever one works for you, uh, we're going to cover the two here and then we're going to look at the advantage of one method over the other. For us to do that effectively, I think I need to bring in a particular... Let's just go to the menu and then pick one of um, the, temp the samples that we have here. I'm currently in my own spl splice um, library. Okay. Okay. I think I like what I'm hearing here. So let me just go ahead and load this. Yep. Just go ahead and load that. Check sample assign is already here. So I come back to my menu and I go to sample edit. Ah, so from here, how do I check how many BPM this is? The BPM of this is 179.82. Let's just say 179 or maybe like 180. But what we need from it, most of the time if you want to work before you can even decide to say, let me go ahead and change the tempo or, or time stretch a particular um, sample you are bringing or importing into your project, you need to know which part of this sample do I need do I need everything or do I just need a part of it that will work perfectly for me, you know, for what I want to do? So basically what I do is for me, um, I need just, let's say, one bar, one bar of this. And that is kind of like four beats, right? So uh, we're, we're basically just going to try and play it and then count together. When it gets to the fourth one, we can stop there and then properly take that out of uh, the whole sample that we imported. And then we can actually work with that. One, two, three, four. And then I stop there. Two, three, four. So it's somewhere here. Let me do part system so that I can automatically three, four. Yeah, so I can expand it. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it's somewhere here. So that's basically what we need. This right here, four beats, one bar for me. So from here, all I need to do is I can go to process. Um, yeah, discard what is on the left and the right. And then I do it. So now I have my four bars just in the same. If I press this, two, three, four. And there you have it. That's basically what I want to use. So looking at my project right now, which is the main, I have 120 on my BPM, but if I go to the sample edit, this is about 179. Okay, now I need to edit basically what I have here. So let me assign it first. Let me just, um, let me go back to my menu and then I go to my browse. It is already assigned to this, fine. Let me go back to my main. Then I can edit samples from here. From here, I can check my BPM. What you have here is telling me that it is 8 bits and the BPM is 120 for basically what I want to work on. But what you're looking at here, if I click on to sequence, what you simply do is it will transfer the, 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 the tempo, that's the BPM of this particular sample to the sequence I am working on. But if I use match, what it does is it will match the tempo of my own sequence that I'm working on my project. It will match it with the current tempo, that's the current BPM of this particular sample. So either way it will, you know, stretch it, it's either it's stretching, it's extending my own sample to make sure it matches up with the, with the, with the, with the tempo of 
the particular sample uh, I'm working on, that's the sequence I'm working on, or it does the reverse. So either way, it can choose to stretch it or shrink it or leave it as it is and now adjust the sequence, that is my own sequence BPM, to fit the current um, sample that we just um, edited and worked on and we're trying to use on our project. This is just one way of doing that. So now, the second method where that you can actually use to time stretch your sample is by simply going into your sample edit. When you come to process here, you will actually see it's part of the process um, parameters that is here. You know, I think it's just in between your pitch shift and your, and your gain change. You see time stretch there. So from, for this one, the, like I told you earlier, I was going to tell you the difference between the two. This might not allow you to modify the tune right away. Do you get it? Might not allow you to modify the tune. But the first one I showed you allow you to modify the tune. The tune, and you can actually you know up it or take it down. But this will simply allow you to see the original tempo, and you can easily just put in your own new tempo here. You can modify your beat if you want to work with the four beat or eight beat or double. You can do that from here. Your original tempo. This is the tempo of the current um, sample. Don't worry about it. I think it's because the beat is is um, kind of like a lot. Then you can come here and put your new tempo here, right? Once you just put your new tempo here, as you're putting a new tempo here, it's telling you the ratio of this new tempo to the old tempo. So if I, as I'm, you know, reducing this, it's telling me, the, it's showing me the, the ratio of the new tempo to the old tempo. Like I said, forget about the tempo here. So if I come here and um, I reduce this, because it's supposed to actually be like, um, maybe like two beats or something. That's 96. So if I come here and then I increase this today, I want to work on 120. So let me make this tempo now to be 120. It tells me the ratio is now 125. That this thing, that this particular uh, um, sample is, it's been, you know, sped up. I think by a quarter. That's 125 you percent. Know, that's 25% more than the in, uh, original one. That's like kind of like by a quarter. So as you can see, old tempo, new tempo. When I click on do it, it automatically sets the tempo of that sample to 120 from 96. Remember, this is time stretching. Do you get? This is the actual time stretching because this would not affect your tuning. But if you need to work on the tuning, the first method I showed you works well. That you can easily manage and manipulate your tuning to make it maybe like to pitch it up or pitch it down. And you are still going to get your job done. There you have it strictly and simply how to time stretch your sample on your project and make sure it fits what you're trying to do. Either you are trying to move the tempo of that the BPM of your particular um, sample to make sure it fits with the tempo of your sequence or you are trying to transfer the tempo of your sequence so that your sample can adjust itself automatically to that particular tempo. So there you have it. I believe by now you should be able to handle that by yourself end to end. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. See you in the next one. <music>